So let's look at how we can write MIPS assembly code um, to work with arrays, essentially to either extract array elements or to insert elements into an array, um, you know, an area of memory reserved for an array. Um, so the setup for this is what we see over here on the right, what we what we would normally see with C code is that we have a declaration, there's an array that's um, that's sitting there in memory with the elements 5, 7, 3, and 2. To implement something like that in assembly, we have to use these directives such as the dot data directive and the dot tex, um, the dot text directive in MIPS, which give the assembler instructions on how you want to lay things out in memory. So in this particular example, by indicating that what follows after the dot word, anything with the dot is a directive, um, after the dot word directive, um, what follows it will be um, um, stored as 32-bit quote-unquote words or 32-bit values. We'll say it's a word because that is kind of the, the, the language that this um, that this uh, language speaks the registers are 32 bits and so this natural language the natural word the natural mode of communication will be with 32 bit values so we've declared it um, a we've declared a to be a label that sits in front of um, 32 bit words in memory um, so what that does for you, a couple of things. Number one, um, this just allows us to go back in and access a particular address. And in this case, the address that A will hold on to will be the zeroth, the very beginning address. So these, you can think about memory as being um, kind of an array of bytes. And so since we've said 32 bits, that's actually four bytes. So he's this five will occupy bytes zero, one, two, and three. That's four bytes. Um, the value seven will occupy um, four bytes, but he'll start at four, five, six, seven. The next one starts at eight, nine, 10, 11. The next one starts at 12, 13, 14, and 15. So there we know the starting address of each one of those elements. Notice that for index array element sub zero, right, the five, he's at, um, he starts at address zero. Um, index sub one starts at byte four. Index sub 2 starts at byte 8. Right? And index sub 3 starts at byte 12. So notice the relationship between the indices and the offset from the beginning of the array. So zero um, is the the initial address relative to the beginning of the array, and then um, byte four is where seven starts. Byte eight is where the three starts. So if I want to convert between the two, if you tell me that um, you're looking at index sub 3 for this array what I know is that because he's the third element I know that he is what is that 3 times 4 12 so whatever the index is what we've seen is that if we multiply the index by 4 it will give us the position away from the starting point of the array um, 
So 3 times 4 is 12. So if I just simply take the index of the array and multiply it by 4, that will give me the um, offset of that value. in terms of the number of bytes in bytes from the start of the array. So that's what we're interested in, is multiplying whatever the index is by 4, and that'll tell us how far away that particular value is from the beginning. Another way to think about this is that if we're going to multiply by 4, um, it's just as easy for us to take an index, we'll say index 1, and multiply it by 4, or shift it left twice. Um, because that value, the output from shifting a 1 twice, think about that for a second. If this is a value, a 1, a binary value of 1. If you shift it left twice, that 1 ends up going over into this position, and he becomes a 4. So the easiest way for us to multiply by 4, whatever the value is, is just to shift left twice. One more quick example and a reminder is that if I take a value such as 0, 0, 1, 0, that's a 6. If I shift that left twice, then what was a 6 here um, becomes a 24. So 6 shifted left twice is 24. So, um, now, in the next um, in the next segment, what we're going to do is use this information to um, we're going to use the information what we've just learned to convert a few things to C. We're going to convert a sub k. Um, quick reminder, actually we'll maybe take these steps, a sub 3, a sub k, um, and then we'll look at a sub k plus 2, a sub k plus plus, and then um, j equals a, and then let's not do a post, but do a pre-increment. So let's spend a few minutes, minutes converting these um, snippets of c into mips. So we'll see that um, in the next um, video clip.